So many veteran organizations are in need of more members right now. So if you're a veteran looking to give back, you're in luck. And one veteran group in Huntington County is giving back to another industry, and they are desperately in need of people. Our Jack McCune shows us how you can help high schoolers pursue their dreams. The lack of nurses continues to strain hospitals and concerned patients. Nurses are in critical need. But the Huntington 40 and 8 organization is doing its best to battle that shortage. The group, made of honorably discharged veterans or active members, supports one nursing student. We reach out to the local high schools and we find nurses training candidates who want to go to school. And what we do is we give them $1,000 a year to help them toward their books. In addition to a nurse training program, 40 and 8 also provides funding for child welfare and youth sports programs. The issue? The group is short on members itself, which is why Commander Brian Bassett is looking for more knowledgeable service members to help him out, especially those who know the history of the Huntington area. He's just one of two active officers. The other people are either too busy or they're getting older and, and really can't get involved anymore. They've done their time, you might say. And it's time for some young people to come in and take over. Bassett needs more board members to reach out to nearby school districts. Then we get names and they apply for the scholarship and we review their applications and we help them out when we can. We're here, we haven't gone anywhere. We still make donations, we still raise money for, for veterans and for the activities. But uh, it's an awful lot of work for just two of us to do and we need help. If you're interested, just contact the Huntington Affairs Office and then they need to just show us a DD-214, which is a discharge paper with honorable service, or they could even be active if they have the time and the inclination to get involved. We'll take them. In Huntington, Jack McCune, WTAJ News.